Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve binary tree pre-order traversal. So let's understand what is pre-order traversal. So pre-order traversal means first of all we have to print our root. Then we have to print its left subtree, and then we have to print its right subtree. So we have three types of traversal. One is pre-order, second is in-order, and third is post-order. So in pre-order, pre means first. So first we have to print root in in order. First we have to print left, then our root, and then our right. This is our pre order. This is our in order traversal. And what is our post order? In post order, our root will be print at last. This is our post order. and left is always printed before its right subtree so now let's understand how we can solve this pre order so what will the pre order traversal of this first of all i will print my root then i will print its left subtree for the left subtree first of all i will print its 2 then i will print its left subtree so for this left subtree first of all i will print this 4 and there is no left subtree so i will check its right there is no right subtree i will go back i have put for 2, I have print this 2, I have print this 4, so I have print this root and I have print this left, then I will print this right. So for right, first of all, I will print 5 and then check its left. So in left, it is 6. There is no right subtree. So I have for this node 2, I have print this root, left and right both. So my left subtree of this node, root node is done. Now I will go to my right and it will be 3. So this is how I have traversed my binary tree in pre-order traversal. Now let's understand how we can solve this problem recursively. So what we are doing here is first of all we print our root value and then we go to its left. Let's say my function name is pre-order. So pre-order traversal. What I go is I will go to its left, left subtree. Once I print its all left subtree, then I go to its right subtree. This is how I print its left, first of all root, then its left, then its right. Now the only thing is, if it is null, in that case, I do not have to print anything. In that case, what I will do, I will print nothing and I will just return. So void preorder function where I will have node type. Uh, let me write tree node star. What will be here? Here it will be root and if there will be one condition if my root is null that is if my root is null in that case I will return. I will return nothing it is void so this is my recursive solution now let's do a dry run here so first of all what i will do first of all i will start this pre-order with my root node that is one so i will call my pre-order one then what it will do it will check it is null no it is not null then what it will do it will print my root well so root well is one now this is my result it will print one and then it will call its left it will call its left for left it is not null so it will print its value left value is left value is two and then then it print its left so left will be four so it will check no it is not null so it will print four and after printing 4, what it will do? It will check. Is it? Uh, it will call its left, but left is null. In that case, it will return. Then it's call its right. It is also null. So in that case, it's done. P4 is done. Once my P4 is done, I will remove it. Now I will go to P2 right. P2 right. P2 left is done. P2 left is done. Then I will go to P2 right. So P2 right is 5. That is my pre-order 5. So first of all, it is not null. 
so i will call i will read print 5 then i will go to its left so its left with 6 so i i am going to po 6 and what is this what is this this is function call stack this is function call stack function call stack this is how we uh, this is how function is stored in our memory function call is stored in our memory so now let's see after 6 what will happen it it print 6 and check it, it go to its left so po null is going but it is null so it's written then it's go to its right it is also null it's written then our p6 is done once our p6 is done then what we will do after p6 our p5 right p5 is right is also null then our p5 is also done then our p2 left is done p2 right is done now what we have to do our one left subtree is done now we have to see the right subtree of one so for the right subtree of one i will this two is done i have to write po post order of three for three i will print three and then i will check its left which is null and right it is also null so this is how i will print my pre-order traversal and you can verify that it will be 1, 2, 4, then 5, 6, 3. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 3. So this is our recursive solution of pre-order traversal. Now let's understand how we can solve this problem iteratively. This is very simple but we should know how to solve it iteratively as well. So before moving to the iterative solution, let's understand what is the time and space complexity of our recursive solution. So our a space complexity of recursive solution will be O of n. Why O of n? Because this O of n is stored in our functional call stack. And what will be our time complexity? Time complexity will also O of n. Now we have to solve this problem, this problem in iterative way. So now let's understand um, this O of n is functional call stack memory. But now for in iterative way, we have to use some other data structure which is stack. Stack, we make sure that this stack works similarly as our function call stack. So let's see how we are going to solve our iterative version. Now let's understand how we can solve it using stack. So let's take one stack. This is my stack. What I will do first, first of all, I will put this root of the tree into my stack. And then uh, I have one vector, which is my answer. Now what I what I will do, I will pop my stack and put it into my answer. This will be my first. And then what I will do, because pre-order is, how is our pre-order? First root, then left, then right. Then le first left, then right. But what is in stack? Stack is LIFO. Last in first out. So if I need my left first, so it should be enter last. So what I will do, first I enter 3 and then I will enter 2. So first I am adding right, then I am adding left. Now if I adding this, so this is done. Now what I will do, I will pop my top and print it. And what I will do, I will put its both children into my stack. So its both children are first right, this is 5, then left, 4. Now after doing that, first of all I will pop 4. And print it here and then what I will do I will check it left is null right is null so there is no need to put here null and again check we will ignore null now what I will do I will pop 5 and print it here and then I will see if left is there if left is right is not there so there is no need to put null here I will just put 6 so I am putting 6 here then I will pop it from here and put my 6 into answer vector. Now 6 there is no left and right so then what I will do I will pop 3 from here and put it here and there is no left and right so this is how my pre-order traversal is done. Pre-order traversal is done. So now let's see code for the same. So this is our code. First of all we check if we have an empty binary tree then we will return our null vector otherwise we are taking one vectors to return our traversal and taking our stack to do this traversal and first of all we put our root here and then 
until our stack is empty until our stack is empty what we will do we will pop out our top element we pop out our top element and push it into our answer vector answer vector and then we check if it is right is there if it is not null if our right is not null then we will push it into our stack and then if our left is also not null then we will push it there finally after doing all traversal our stack will be empty and in that case we will return our answer so the time complexity of this solution will be o of n and the space complexity for this solution will also o of n for storing this node in this traversal in our stack so this is our both solution i hope you understand both iterative and recursive solution if it helps you do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching